I am Dr. Amber Brooks. I founded Whole Child Wellness to bridge alternative and traditional forms of medicine. I truly believe using the strengths of both can yield perfectly healthy children. My daughter was having uh, gastrointestinal issues. She had dairy allergy. She had a loose stool. And so I brought her to Dr. Brooks. She switched her to a non-dairy formula, corrected all her gastrointestinal problems. No more stomach pains, no more crying of my daughter. She's back to normal. And we got it all corrected before it became a huge issue. So I can't say enough good things about her. We noticed some changes in our son, Chase and we weren't sure if he had autism or Asperger's. We weren't sure what was going on. Chase would go a week without going potty. His tummy was always real bloated and hard. As a baby, he had acid reflux. He had three seizures, ages like one, two, and three. So we went on a gluten-free, casein-free diet. We've noticed huge progress. His focus, his social skills, He'll interact with us more, He'll, he can have a conversation with us, plays and interacts with his brother. They can laugh or they can fight over a Star Wars toy and be silly and have fun and, and engage in one, with one another. He will be affectionate towards me and tell me that he loves me or you know, give me a hug where there was a time where I would get down you know, eye level with him and I felt like I felt like he wasn't looking at me, like he was seeing through me and he was drifting off. When I first realized that Micah had autism, I was very nervous and very afraid that there was nothing that could be done with him and that his life would never amount to anything more than a little boy sitting in a corner rocking for hours that didn't talk to his mama or his siblings or his daddy. But once we met Dr. Brooks, she gave me a hope that Micah's autism was treatable. And as the past three months have progressed, we have seen this hope fleshed out that yes, autism is treatable. Now, as a family that is actually getting sleep every night, we see our family as a unit that is just enjoying life and enjoying being a family together that has overcome autism through the help of Dr. Brooks. Nicholas was diagnosed with autism uh, December the 9th of 2009. It was knowing that she was the one that Nicholas was supposed to be treated by. It was knowing because she immediately had compassion for my situation. The fact that I was a single mom and I didn't have a lot of money. She immediately showed compassion on the, fir on the first and second visit. And she gave me that grace and mercy that I wasn't getting anywhere else because I had applied for everything, trying to get some assistance once he was diagnosed. And she just, she had compassion. So I knew where I was supposed to be. My name is Portia Hopkins and my son's name is Decatur Sharp. And we started to see Dr. Brooks about 18 months ago. When I first met Dr. Brooks, I was looking for a second or maybe even a third opinion for my son who had been diagnosed on the autism spectrum, specifically with a pervasive developmental delay. Um, doctors had told us that this is the way things are, diagnosed him, gave me a sheet of paper with some support groups and some resources on it, and told me to have at it. I could see a light in his eye and I knew that something was there. Two weeks after we'd seen Dr. Brooks, he slept in his own bed for the first time in about a year. And now here we are 18 months later, I have a son who uh, was questionably going to get through kindergarten and now he's going to the first grade and he's being evaluated for a talented and gifted program. I have the best job in the world. I get to see children come alive, begin to speak, walk, grow, and blossom into the amazing people they were meant to be. I want you to know as a parent that there is hope and recovery for children with health and happiness to follow. All you have to do is take the next step. Not alone, just have some faith that tomorrow will be a new day full of hope and healing. Treating these children is not only healing for the kids. I know that in many cases, this is healing for a whole family. So I'm truly honored to be a part of this love and healing that happens with each family that I touch. As part of this journey here with us, Many of our parents report back that their children have an increase in communicating with their siblings and peers, interact in ways they never have with them as parents, and overall increase in functionality. I want to welcome you to Whole Child Wellness.